everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. In today's video, I cannot wait to share with you some thrift store trash to treasure makeover projects. You guys, these are gonna be amazing. You might already even have some of these items around your house. So we are gonna do a DIY no sew sofa slip cover, a DIY no sew pillowcase cover. We're also going to transform my coffee table from just a boring coffee table that has a really chipped up top to a beautiful marble, a fabulous coffee table table faux marble that is. So anyway, you guys, we're going to use items from the Dollar Tree, items from Walmart, super duper inexpensive. I cannot wait to share this set of DIYs with you guys. So without further ado, plug in your glue guns and let's get to crafting. So my brown leather sofa has been well loved. My cat Tinky has definitely scratched up the back quite a bit. So what I want to do is take several thrift store blankets and just create a sofa slip cover. These are queen size blankets. So I used this large cotton blanket and I actually almost donated this blanket because it has seen better days as well but it will be perfect for this project. Now I took the chenille blanket and I cut it right down the center and so I created two panels of the chenille blanket and then one the cotton blanket was not cut at all and now you can see I'm just hot gluing the chenille blanket to the side of the cotton blanket. So I want to create a really large piece of fabric to go over the entire sofa. And I'm just using a low temp glue gun. You guys can see I bedazzled by glue gun. Yes, I had to bling it out. But I'm just continuing to glue the chenille panel onto the cotton blanket. Now, if you will have a sewing machine, definitely go for that. But I do not, and I think this will be fine to wash on cold water and just line dry. It's not for super long-term fix. I am saving up for a new sofa, but right now I wanted to use some things that were inexpensive and accessible, and I've been dreaming of making this slipcover actually for quite some time, and I was really excited for how it actually came out. So now you can see that I have the first panel of the chenille cover on, and now I'm just gluing the second panel of the chenille cover on. So for the centerpiece, it is the longest side of the blanket. So you want to use on your centerpiece the widest, longest part. I hope that makes sense to you all. And both of these blankets are queen size blankets. So now that I had the two panels attached to either side of my large blanket, I want to go ahead and see if it fits onto my sofa. And it did end up being a little bit too short in the back. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and add an extra panel to the front. Now I have looked for sofa slip covers online forever and I cannot find one for less than $100. So I had this ruffle curtain that I picked up from the thrift store and it it's just a long curtain and it's the same size as my blankets and so I just hot glued that to the front of my panel and that way hopefully when I tuck this in it is going to work and it is going to be perfect for this sofa and guys it actually ended up working and it was really great that I left it a little bit long because then that gave me plenty of room and fabric to tuck in so I'm just tucking into the front part of the sofa and then I do tuck my sides in really well and I even kind of pull it off to the side and that way it stays in really nice and snug and secure and you guys can even um, buy some of those little clips at Walmart which I'm going to show you guys I ended up using on this but I love the fringe trim it comes out so great it does take a little bit of tucking but it's really great with the tucking because that way it doesn't move around on your sofa as much 
So in the back, I also tuck that as well. So for the next thrift store makeover project, I'm just going to make over this white pillow that was headed on its way to the Goodwill. And I decided to take one of those Dollar Tree scarves and create just a cute little tie on it. So you just take one of those Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Plaid scarves and Buffalo Check Plaid is so adorable to add in to almost any decor. You guys can add it into Shabby Chic, Farmhouse, a French farmhouse. It's just so fun and summery. So I just tied a little bow in the center and really you guys could use this two ways. You could use it on the back with the larger buffalo check plaid print or you could use it in the front with the little bow. So here I'm sharing with you guys how my sofa looks after I sit down on it. And I did go ahead and decide to add some of those little clips. These are actually sheet grippers that you buy at Walmart. They come four to a pack for about $5. So what you want to do is you want to take the sheet gripper and grip it from the back and then just pull it through to the front and grip the front part of your sofa slip cover. And that really helps it stay in place. So you guys can see when I sit down on it it doesn't really move around that much and so those really definitely help that's a huge trick if you guys are doing one of these I really feel like my sofa slipcover came out so beautiful and it cost me next to nothing I think one of the blankets was three dollars at the thrift store and one of them was ten Anyway, and then this little Dollar Tree scarf really got some use. Also, another way that you all could style your sofa is with a bed pillow. I love using the shabby chic bed pillow. Just when I want something different to give it a different look. So fun for spring. So for the next Trash to Treasure Thrift Store makeover project, I wanted to share with you guys how I gave my little coffee table some new life. So you can tell I have painted this coffee table a million times. It's been so many colors and I really just wanted something easy for the top. So Walmart has contact paper and my daughter and I just ended up cutting the contact paper and putting it straight onto the table. It was dry and clean. That's one of the main things. Just make sure your surface is dry and clean and cut it to size and then it's so easy. It's just like putting a sticker on basically. We love to do this contact paper though together. It just makes it go easier. I don't know why. She always helps me unroll it and then I smooth as we go. And I know you can take like a little um, spatula or just like something that you can use to smooth it if you don't have the extra helper but I was definitely happy to have her <laughs> on hand and this is just a great way to make over an old piece of furniture that needs some new love I find so many pieces of furniture all the time at thrift stores and usually their top is the worst um, but the whole trunk just was painted white and I did share with you guys I have all of my craft supplies actually stored in this little trunk and then it doubles as a coffee table which I absolutely love and now I'm styling this with just some purples in kind of a French farmhouse way and there's my little Dollar Tree candle I shared with you guys that gelato candle and it smells so delicious if you need a yummy smelling candle so for the next trash to treasure makeover project again I'm using those Dollar Tree scarves on my pillow that was almost on its way out the door but I decided to try to give it some new life this time I'm just using two of those Dollar Tree scarves and I just tied it in a knot in the back and then tucked the ends under and then you take the second Dollar Tree scarf and you lay it over the pillow and if you're really crazy and have to get it lined up with the checkers go for that but I was trying to just relax um, and then I just tied another knot in the back and then you just take the ends of the scarf and you tuck them under now this type of pillow is more for decoration it's not going to last in a pillow fight it's not going to last if your kids are going to be use it as a bed pillow or passing out on the couch but it is a fun way to update an old pillow that needs some love and definitely next time I buy throw pillows I'm gonna buy throw pillows that have a removable washable cover <laughs> because like I said these pillows were about on their way out um, but giving them some new life I feel like really helped them out and I think it's just a fun way to update your sofa or they would work really great in like a little throw chair or they'd be super adorable in a picnic basket. I thought about trying that. I mean, look at how great this looks. I think this looks so fun and fresh 
for summer and now I have like a whole new living room and all it cost was a couple of dollars and then I wanted to share with you guys too that Dollar Tree is putting out some of these scarves in the red and black check now they had these during the winter time um, but they were kind of a flannel material and these are a really lightweight material so I'm actually going to share with you guys even some more DIYs that you can do with these Dollar Tree scarves because I think they're so fun and I'm just going crazy with ideas but I wanted to share with you guys this quick red and black one just for more visual, visual interest I'm doing it the same way that I did the other white and black one I'm just tying it in the back and then tucking the little scarf ends in but how cute would that be for Christmas so now I'm going to share with you guys how I would style my coffee table in more of a French chic farmhouse or shabby chic style. I added those little florals that I got at a garage sale. They were $1.50 and actually this guy gave me a bunch of paint and so I felt led to buy something from him and so his wife had those flowers so I went ahead and grabbed those from them. But I just styled this with my old vintage candelabra. I did not DIY the candelabra. Candelabra. It is just an old candelabra and actually part of it on the back is broken, <laughs> but I still hang on to it. You guys, I love things that are just shabby chic that somebody would actually throw away. I just love giving them some love and finding them a new home. I added the candelabra to the top of those little French chic books and I do have a DIY for that that I will link down below for you guys. And then of course this little cake that I got from Rhonda's Rose Cottage Designs just layered on top of some really beautiful vintage plates. I really thought that that set the mood. And then with some candles, so chic and so shabby <laughs> and so fun. And then over there is my plate collage in the dining room. Again, if you guys need some DIY inspiration, I shared with you all how I did the plate collage and also the floral that is on my mantle. So now it is time to sit back and relax, have a nice little cup of tea or coffee or just whatever floats your boat and enjoy the day. <laughs> So thank you all so much for joining me on this DIY thrift store trash to treasure makeover project adventure. I love you guys so much and I love all of your feedback. So drop a comment below and let me know what kind of DIY you want to see me do next. And I hope to do a video on one of you guys' comments. So the top comment, I'm gonna hope to go ahead and DIY something for you guys. So definitely comment and let me know what you guys wanna see me do next. Thank you guys so much for everybody that's posting and tagging me on Instagram with your DIY. Wise. I love to feature those in my story and also in my Facebook group page. You guys are the best. I love all your comments. Thank you for all the likes and the shares and the love. You're so amazing. I love you, love you, love you, love you. So thank you guys. I cannot wait for the next video. Tons more DIYs coming and we will talk to you later. Bye. I love you.